How many five letter passwords can be made using the letters A through Z given the following conditions? For part A, repetition of letters is allowed. So each of the bars represents a letter in the five letter passwords. Let's begin by determining how many ways we can select each letter. And there are 26 letters in the alphabet from A through Z. So there are 26 ways to select the first letter of the five letter password. And because repetition of letters is allowed, there's also 26 ways to select the second letter, 26 ways to select the third letter, and so on. There are 26 ways to select each of the five letters. And now using the counting principle, the total number of passwords is equal to the product of the number of ways, and therefore the number of passwords possible is equal to 26 times 26 times 26 times 26 times 26, which is equal to 26 raised to the fifth power, which is equal to 11,881,376. There are 11,881,376 passwords possible when repetition of letters is allowed. For part B, repetition of letters is not allowed. When repetition is not allowed, there are still 26 ways to select the first letter, meaning the first letter can be any letter in the alphabet from A through Z. But now because repetition is not allowed, there's only 25 ways to select the second letter because one letter has already been used in the first letter and cannot be used again. After choosing the second letter, now two letters have been used that cannot be used again, and therefore there are 24 ways to select the third letter, 23 ways to select the fourth letter, and 22 ways to select the fifth letter. The number of possible passwords when repetition of letters is not allowed is equal to 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 times 22, which is equal to 7,893,600. So there are 7,893,600 passwords possible when the repetition of letters is not allowed. Before we go though, let's take a look at part B again using what's called a permutation. A permutation is an arrangement when order matters. A permutation is an ordered list with no repetition. In contrast, a combination is an arrangement when order does not matter. A combination is for grouping with no repetition. So because we can think of the five letter passwords as an ordered list with no repetition using the 26 letters from the alphabet, we can also solve part B using a permutation. And we say the number of permutations of n things taken r at a time is equal to n permute r, which is equal to n factorial divided by the quantity n minus r factorial. Let's work this out on the next slide. So again, another way to determine part b would be to permute the 26 letters five at a time, which is 26 permute five, written using this notation, or we can also write 26 permute five using this notation. Either way, notice how n, the number of items, is equal to 26, and r, the number of items we're permuting, is equal to five. So applying the permutation formula, we have 26 factorial divided by the quantity 26 minus five factorial, which gives us 26 factorial divided by 21 factorial. Let's evaluate this by hand by expanding 26 factorial. 26 factorial is equal to 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 times 22. The remaining factors would be 21 factorial, so I'll stop here because we have a 21 factorial in the denominator, and 21 factorial divided by 21 factorial simplifies to one. Notice after simplifying the permutation, we have the same factors we have here, which are 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 times 22, which we know is equal to 7,893,600, giving us the same answer we found on the previous slide. But I also wanna show how you can evaluate a permutation quickly on the T84. On the T84, we first enter n, which is 26, 
and then we press math, right arrow to the probability menu, which is PROB. The permutation is option two, so we press two, and then we enter R, which is five, enter, and of course we get the same value of 7,893,600. I hope you found this helpful.